Hello and welcome to JRL Learning Hub, a channel dedicated to help CAD users, engineers and students. And in this video I'm going to show you how to produce chamfered corners like this. So let's get started. So we have three scenarios here which are all different in the corners. This one the lines meet in the corner, this one the lines cross over and in the third one there is a gap where the lines haven't yet met. However these are normal situations and chamfer will tidy them up as the corner becomes chamfered. Chamfer can be found up on the modify section of the ribbon and it shares the same button as fillet. The arrow beside fillet is a pull down, so if we click on the pull down you can see that chamfer is listed there. So we go ahead and click on chamfer. Now on the command line we can see that there are two options. You've got distance and you've got angle. And here's a preview of what that looks like in reality. If you select the distance option the software will ask you for two distances like on the left hand view. If you select the angle option then the software will ask you for a distance and an angle of, of the chamfer. And we're going to cover both of these. So we'll start with distance. First thing we do is go down to the command line and we click on distance to set both of our distance values. First distance we'll call that 15. Press enter. For the second distance we'll call that 15 as well and press enter. All we do now is go ahead and click on the two lines like so and the chamfer gets produced on the corner. Let's click on chamfer again. Down to distance as you can see the default setting is uh, are the two numbers that I typed in last time but if we click on distance we can change it. This time I'm going to type in 10 enter and then 30 enter. Now depending on how you want to orientate the chamfer you need to remember the sequence that you entered the numbers. So if I wanted the 30 to be along this top edge I click that second because 10 was the first number I typed in. So I want 10 to be the height and 30 to be the length and there it is. So that's the distance option. Let's take a look at the angle option this time. So we go up to the arrow beside fillet, we click on it, select chamfer. Down on the command line, we don't click on distance, we click on angle this time. And the software is asking me for a length. So let's type in 35 and enter. Now instead of asking me for a second distance, it's now asking me for an angle. So let's type in 25 and enter. And go ahead and click the two lines that you want to chamfer. One, two, and there it is. Okay, so what about shapes like squares, rectangles, triangles, anywhere where you've got a closed object like this? So with this rectangle, we can apply chamfers to all four corners in one go using the polyline option in the command line within the chamfer command. But before we do that, if I click on it, you can see that the whole rectangle is selected. So they're not just four individual lines. They've been produced using the rectangle command in this case, but you need to make sure that the, the object that you're going to apply these chamfers to it must be a closed loop polyline or even an open loop polyline but just to point that out that if you want to apply multiple chamfers to an object it must be a polyline before you start. So let's go up to chamfer down to the command line and let's just use the distance as an example. Type in our numbers let's go for 15 for the first one enter and 15 for the second one 
enter that. And then we go back and click on polyline. Now when we go back up to the object to click on it, it applies chamfers to all four corners. And there it is. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.